is Dal Richards. I'm 96 years old, and I'm an orchestra leader. Uh, it's called specifically Big Band Leader, and have been for many years in Vancouver, and we're still very active. When I was nine years old, I had a, a slingshot and fell on the slingshot I had and pierced my left eye, and meaning that I lost vision in it. <clears throat> Old doctor suggested to my mother that I needed a diversion of some sort and suggested I take music lessons. So that was the beginning of my musical career. I started in a juvenile band, it was called, uh, playing clarinet, and continued to this day playing clarinet, now mainly saxophone, of course. We were very lucky to secure an engagement in 1940 at the panorama roof of the Hotel Vancouver. And that was the, uh, the name of a ballroom on the 15th floor. And it was the nightclub in, uh, called uh, at the top of the town, because in those days it was the 15th floor. And I luckily was um, called upon to fill in for an engagement there for six weeks and they extended into a glorious 25-year run. Unheard of in these days, of course, but that's the way it was in 1940 to 1965. And now that I've reached the advanced stage of 96, <coughs> people frequently ask me, <coughs> how do I feel about that? Do I feel that I I would like to maintain this position of an orchestra leader. Would I like to keep working? Would I like to keep playing? And the answer is a very, very definite yes. I'm very involved in, in directing the orchestra and playing my saxophone. And I practice every day. And you have to do that if you're a professional musician. You have to keep on what we say on top of your horn. I've always been aware of what I think the, the public, as I call them, might like to hear. I don't force anything on them. I, I take the approach that we should play the music they would like to hear. Uh, <clears throat> am I a busy person? Yes, very busy. Uh, there's the orchestra, of course, and running the orchestra is not simply a matter of appearing at a particular location, at a particular time and playing an engagement. There are rehearsals, there's an arranging of music, there's a selection of music. In addition, I uh, frequently appear on the internet with a program called Dal's Place, uh, where we take a nostalgic look at the sounds and times of the big bands and the unforgettable music of the 30s, 40s, 50s and the 60s. Uh, do I have any regrets in life? Well, probably, but they couldn't have been very important because, again, think of them. <laughs> I am blessed. Uh, I have a wonderful fantastic wife and help me, Muriel. And without her, I, I couldn't be in the band business because she takes care of the business end of it and, and the musical end of it too. But she's a great companion and, and a, a unique woman who understands my, my needs and wants in my career and is a very, important part of that.